A very common question to pediatricians, my baby has a discharge in the eye, it's not red, it's water, it's a little baby, and he says something about a tear duct being blocked, what is that? About 1 in 20 kids are born with a problem of their tear ducts being blocked. And when we mean the tear ducts, we don't mean the part that produces the tears, it's the part where the tears drain out of the, out of the eye, kind of like if you had your sink being blocked up. Um, this could happen, you know, to your child, usually from birth. Sometimes the symptoms don't come out until a few months of age. It, most of the time, it will get better on its own. However, you do need to do some massage of the area in order to make sure that, that no infection happens. And if it does not go away as well, usually about a year of age or so, we do recommend surgery for this. What percentage of kids end up with surgery? Um, percent of kids, probably about 1 in 20 kids are, are, end up with the surgery. Most of them will go away on their own. And if they have surgery, what did the surgery curtail? Surgery involves, um, different people do it different ways. Most people do it under general anesthesia. And it has to be done under general anesthesia. Your child does need to go to the hospital, does need to get general anesthesia for a short period of time. There is a, we put a blunt instrument down through to open up the area. There's no scar left on the skin. Um, there's a little bit of maybe bloody tears, a little bit of blood tinge fluid that comes out of the nose afterwards. But then the child recovers, and usually about 95% of the time, if it's done at that age, they recover from the surgery and have no further problems. About 5% of the kids do have to have, go on to more involved procedures, either putting tubes down or doing other procedures in order to open up the problem. But basically, it's probably a minor condition for most patients. For most patients, it's a minor condition. And even the surgery is a relatively minor surgery if you do need it, but it does involve general anesthesia.